Glory be to Jesus Christ. Dearly beloved, every year in the days and weeks before Christmas, a certain excitement fills the air as we undertake our preparations for the festive event. Gifts are selected and purchased. Quantities of food and drink are calculated. Bonuses are anticipated together with office parties. Travel arrangements are made and tickets are ordered. So much to do with so little time to do it all. As a young child, I remember on one occasion being all excited, thinking about anticipated Christmas gifts, when my father shocked me by saying that when he was growing up on the farm in Saskatchewan, there were no gifts at Christmas. There were no bought Christmas ornaments, only those that they could make at home. Travel meant the distance you could go in one day by horse and sleigh. And there were no office parties or Christmas bonuses, since the entire family worked day and night on the farm. But even if they lacked so much materially, Christmas was still a time of great spiritual joy and family celebration. For many during this year's time of COVID pandemic, it will be a challenge to find joy in the Christmas event. How can people celebrate when they are laid off from work or worse still, have lost their jobs? How can they rejoice if they must remain isolated in their homes, unable to visit family and friends? What excitement will there be if there is no money to buy gifts and decorations, no money for special foods and beverages? The challenge of COVID it's not that it takes us away from the Christmas festivities, but rather it draws us closer to the spirit of Christmas as first experienced in Bethlehem some 2,000 years ago. COVID challenges us to put into perspective the important things in life, like proper health care for the sick, watching out for our neighbors, the plight of the unemployed, and the desperation of the homeless. My prayerful greeting to everyone during these days of Christmas preparation is that the peace and joy of the coming of our Savior, born in the poverty of the Bethlehem manger, nourished by loving and faith-filled parents, visited by neighborly shepherds, and supported by wise foreign strangers, that these gifts of the first Christmas be part of your life during this pandemic season. Christ is born. Glorify him.